Republican candidate for Lieutenant Governor Matt Burke is under fire for comments that he made at an anti-abortion rights conference last month. As WCCO's Caroline Cummings reports, it's the latest flashpoint in a campaign season marked by the fall of Roe v. Wade. On the very day the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, Republican candidate for Lieutenant Governor Matt Burke was in Georgia at the National um, Right to Life one Convention. The, one of the arguments that I have probably saw 20 times online today was, uh, was about rape. And, you know, obviously, you know, they always want to go to the rape card. Now, Burke is facing criticism for some of these comments and others he made about abortion and rape during his 30-minute remarks. And rape is obviously a horrible thing, but an abortion is not going to, it's not going to heal the wounds of that. Later, he said this. Our culture loudly, but also stealthily promotes abortion. You know, telling women they should look a certain way, they should have careers, all these things. Governor Tim Walz's campaign blasted the remarks as, quote, disturbing. Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan in a statement said, quote, we can't afford to elect anti-choice leaders who don't trust or respect survivors of rape and who think that we should discourage women from having careers. Governor Tim Walz is trying to mobilize voters around this issue, arguing that abortion rights are on the ballot this fall. Jensen criticizes Walz for running what he calls a single issue campaign that ignores inflation and public safety. I think it could have a mobile in effect, um, you know, particularly among young voters who are sort of these low proclivity voters, they don't turn out uh, as as frequently uh, as others. And I think it's going to be perpetually an issue uh, because who controls the governorship and, and the state legislature is going to be really important in setting state abortion policy. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. And a new 